God bless each one of you. Today's video is about the Holy Spirit. Check it out. The much of what is called the charismatic movement today is full of tremendous amounts of falsehood, dangerous heresy, historical heresy. There's nothing new under the sun. It's just if you study the patriarch's church history, you find that it's just the same thing hashed over in a Western flavor. And I'll have nothing to do with it, but I'll also tell you this. I want you to recognize something. These men were not necessarily changed or transformed by even their visual, their seeing of the resurrected Christ. Because we see that they still doubted. What made the great transformation in these men? I'll tell you this, it was the day of Pentecost. Now I want to tell you something about the Spirit of God. I will not allow men who teach things on the Holy Spirit in a heretical fashion to steal from me my inheritance. I will not be afraid of the Holy Spirit. I want you to know that you cannot be converted apart from the Holy Spirit, that you cannot live the Christian life apart from the Holy Spirit, and you have no power for ministry apart from the Holy Spirit. We need to be very, very careful. These men were transformed by the day of Pentecost. They were. You're saying, Brother Paul, then we, should we experience a day of Pentecost and speak in tongues and do all these things? No. And yes. Now what do I mean? I mean this. The whole idea of Pentecost and the Spirit of God coming down and the flames of fire over their head and the speaking in tongues, I believe, was very, very unique. I believe it was a fulfillment of a prophecy. But I also believe this, as Spurgeon did, as Martin Lloyd-Jones did, as all the men of God and women of God down through the centuries, this, that when we have believed unto salvation, it is the result of the regenerating work of the Holy Spirit, and we have been indwelt with the person of the Holy Spirit. And yet, like Spurgeon said, we should be constantly, constantly crying out for greater and greater manifestations of the Spirit's life and power in us for life and ministry. Constantly crying out. Constantly being careful not to offend the Spirit, not to quench Him, not to grieve Him. And when the Spirit of God is truly, truly filling a man, is truly anointing a man, what will you see? You will see the fruit of the Spirit. You will see godliness. You will see integrity. You will see Christ-likeness. But you will also see fruit in His ministry. And that's what we desire, the fruit of converted men, the fruit of transformed families. We so desperately need the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me put it this way, Jehovah Witness knocks on my door and they go, I open the door and they say, we're Jehovah Witnesses. I say, well, come on in, so am I. And they come in, I listen to them for about five minutes and I go, you're not a witness of Jehovah. Sit down, let me tell you, I'm a witness of Jehovah. I'll tell you what Jehovah wants you to know. It's the same way. I'm not going to allow them to steal my inheritance from me. And I'm not going to allow a bunch of evangelist TV preachers to steal my inheritance of the Holy Spirit from me. Or make me afraid of Him. I hope you enjoyed this video. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.